Oh, good to be back above ground. Mm-hmm. Still trouble ahead. You mean the trolls? They're in for trouble, not us. We ought to be careful. This is their turf. Couple of trolls got you soiling your knickers? Was bold and brash once, like you. Then I took a pitchfork in the gut. Peasant kid, not a troll. I almost died. Hard way to learn, but I did. Come on. Ha! See him shit and run as soon as he saw us? Mm-hmm. Never known a troll to do that. is to walk no more. The stops? Yeah. East Mountain. Trolley Mountain. Troll Mountain. Huh? Oh. Uh, hi! This Troll Mountain. Uh, you talk to these idiots. Stay calm. We just want to get to the circle. Which is this thing one say, thing two do, thing three do, sometime. Ah, uh, enough! Out of my way, dimwits, or I'll grind you to gravel. Understand? <laughs> mm-hmm, they understood all right. Congrats. Run for the cave, before they stone us to death. Which is his understanding? We understand it, but we still gotta get to the Circle of Elements. Listen, but we. Trolls come no to Witchesy Castle. Lock Slotler. Let him lock. Enjoying this little chat? Cause uh, it's not getting us anywhere. I'm talking. Fact is, you know as much about negotiating as they do about grammar. We're not here to hurt you. We don't want to touch your rocks. Just let us pass. Troll, rock, troll. Witches, strike no back. Just talky, talky. Witcher, good? Only you. Witches, his monster kills trolls, monsters. Yes, true is. No face, mate. We do go this. You shall back clubs leave here. Use pass. No grease. We smash. No way. Witcher without his sword, it'd be like losing an arm. Better arm lose than head. <laughs> Just a 
few steps more, and we're there. Ooh, that's some serious panting. Out of breath, out of shape. Well, we made it. No denying that. Damn. Beautiful view. We can soak it in later. Of course. Duty before pleasure. Remember how this circle works? Been a while since I activated my medallion here. It's fine, old man. No need to make excuses. Light the torches and place the phylactery on the altar. I'll handle the rest. How'd it go? Water, then earth, then air? Geralt? All right. Phylactery's in place. Then all we gotta do is wait. The container will absorb the power of the elements while we catch a breather. So, how'd you deal with the trolls when you passed the trial of the medallion? Let me think. Oh yeah, used Axie, but I only had to get past one troll. Other two were busy. Yeah, useful sign, Axie. Saved my life a short while ago. Sense a good story coming. One of the best. A couple of road robbers stopped me. One pointed a crossbow at me and the other started rummaging through my satchel and made the man with the crossbow shoot his friend and then hang himself. Didn't have to kill them. But I could, so I did. Two whore sons less in the world. Big deal. Tell me, you always been such a cynical bastard? No. I was adorable before Vesemir brought me to Kaer Morhen. We all went through it. That's just it. Not everyone made it. Lots of boys died here. Boys taken against their will. It was our destiny. Destiny? Let me tell you about destiny. My dad was a drunk. He'd knock a few back, then beat me and mom bloody. We prayed for his death every night. One day our prayers were almost answered. Dad lost his way coming home from the tavern, walked smack into a nest of neckers. But some witcher saved him. Know what he wanted in return? Give me the first thing you see when you get home. My life. For the life of that prick? I say fuck that kind of destiny. Didn't know. I'm sorry. Next time you wonder why I'm so bitter. Well, there's your answer. All right. We've griped enough. Let's get out of here. Let's get back. After you, sir. Weak, but regular.
God damn it, you piece of shit! <coughs> Damned crystal! <coughs> you decide to blow us up? Geralt, I'm sorry, but I'm in no mood for jests. What's eating you? Let me think. That was the third crystal to explode. It's been a week, and Lambert's still not done what I've asked. Vesemir spitefully insists on repairing the wall just beneath my window and starts hammering at the crack of dawn, while Eskel seems to have gone mushroom picking, not forktail hunting. The guys. Well, they're not exactly happy with you. Hmm? Why is that? Because you aren't willing to say what you're planning. You're treating them like pages, not including them. Us, actually, because I feel that way too. I shall explain everything, when the time is right. First, we must finish our preparations. Hmm. You got trust issues with us? No. Actually, I fear you don't trust me. So, I'd rather keep certain things secret, for the time being. Pretty tortured logic. It may seem that way now, but you'll understand in time. Heard about the bed. Really prefer to sleep on the floor? Wouldn't recommend it. That stone can get awfully chilly. Frankly, I prefer a chill to bedding littered with red hair. So upset about Triss, you gotta take it out on the furniture? Would you prefer I take it out some other way? Geralt, I don't want to seem like a vindictive shrew, but that very bed is where you just happened to fuck a dear friend of mine. Yes, I know. You've lost your memory. Whatever. Let us agree that I will refrain from scolding you while you will stop mentioning that stupid bed. Agreed? Agreed. Splendid. On to more pressing matters. Fine. What do I do? Firstly, help Eskel and Lambert. One was supposed to get me Forktail spinal fluid. The other was to fortify the phylactery with elemental power. I've yet to see anything from either of them. Taken care of. Is that so? My, the initiative. That leaves one other trifle to resolve. As you saw, my megascope's acting up in rather spectacular fashion. I'm certain there's an energy source nearby, generating disturbances, making the crystals malfunction. We must find it and neutralize it. Quickly, I must contact someone. It's urgent. Who you plan to contact? Or is that a secret too? No secret at all. Ida Emian. Remember her? How could I forget? Member of the Lodge, Elven Sage. Exactly, a sage. As the name suggests, she should know a great deal. I'd like to ask her for advice about Uma. Satisfied? <sighs> You're a sorceress, friends. The sage and not-so-sage. They've let me down before. But if we gotta, we gotta. If only you'd been this cautious with all of them. But no matter. Thank you for your permission. All right. How do I find the source? Use this Potesta Quisitor. Potesta... Potesta Quisitor? Sounds fancy. Complicated. Yet it's ever so simple. Grasp it firmly, move it around, and the louder it squeals, the closer you are. Mm -hmm. Spare me your juvenile wit, please. Well, what are you waiting for? Ah, one more thing. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Geralt.
signal. Signal's growing stronger. Shit, lost the signal. Oh, got a signal. Signal's growing stronger. Shit, lost the signal. Nothing here. Oh, got a signal. Signal's growing stronger. Hmm, impressive specimen. Hmm, a month of tracking, stalking. But I finally dropped a son of a bitch. Congratulations. Can't help wondering, though. Why'd you keep the corpse? Aim to stuff it? Hang it above the mantle? Hmm. <laughs> Not a bad idea. Gotta finish the autopsy first, though. This one was quicker than most. Quicker and stronger. Wanna examine it thoroughly. Mind if I have a look? Wanna do the honors? No thanks. You cut. I'll grab a bite to eat. Nice claws. Fifteen inches, I'd say. They grow its whole life. This one was about a hundred, hundred ten years old. Pretty muscular legs. Calves and feet especially. Let me tell you, this sucker was fast. One second here, there the next. Always in the shadows. Could barely see it. So how'd you take it down? Huh. <laughs> Long story. Tell you another time. Open its gut. So, anything interesting? Uh, bits of undigested food. A few decades worth, looks like. Human hair, a belt buckle, a few coppers, and a gold ring. Want to give it to Yennefer? <laughs> Ought to be as good as new once you polish it a bit. No thanks. She only wears silver. That's yeah, her loss. Rest is perfectly normal, except for its gnarled liver. Seems like I had a pension for the blood of drunkards. Let's examine its head. <sighs> Long whiskers. Protruding frontal lobe, but that's normal. Long ears. And an earring. Mm-hmm. Seen that before. Some of them like shiny objects, like magpies. And in the maw, yellow dull teeth. Missing its upper front teeth. Lower incisors. Clearly not a flosser. Fine, let's move on. Think I've seen enough for now. This was an old one. Experienced. Hmm. It'd be nice to figure out a way to determine a catacan's age based on its tracks. Avoid running across one like this unprepared. It would, I agree. But later. See you, Eskel. Signal's growing stronger. So, Jennifer found a volunteer to walk around with that chirping stick after all. <laughs> Signal's growing stronger. Shit. Lost the signal. Nothing here. Oh, got a signal. 
signal's growing stronger. Can't be far now. Disturbance is coming from there. What's in these crates? Dimeridium bombs. Lambert made them. No wonder the megascope doesn't work. All right, gotta get him out of here. I can do that. Rather you not make a mess of my shelves, just keep an eye on Uma. Yes, Uncle Vesemir. How goes it? Vesemir's not working you too hard, I hope. Thought so. All done. You can go. Now, let's check your conditioned reflexes. Thank you. Seems to be working now. What was it? Dimeridium bombs. Lambert left them by the beds. Hmm. I suppose he had no idea they could interfere with my megascope? You know, Lambert's not exactly an expert on megascopes, so... Please. Lambert is mean, not stupid. Enough. Ready for this conversation? Sure you want me here? Members of the Lodge don't let just anyone in on their secrets, or so I've heard. Consider it a token of our trust. Now let's begin. And Geralt, behave, please. Didn't you just say you trust me? Stop twisting my words. Kednell Yennefer at Vengerberg. Gwynblade? Kednell and Severn. Why have you summoned me? We've come up against a curse. One we must lift. It was uttered in a dialect of elder speech unfamiliar to me. I see. The words of the curse? Va fel elen, ked mil foli, gled of dawn ebtenid, bondro isne iacus. Recognize the dialect? Lathan umbod. Meaning? The so called one speech. A forgotten language dating from before the migration. The migration? Later, Geralt. Take it you've heard the words before. Yes, in legends. Of the kind that do not end happily. Can you help us with the curse? To a degree. Agnes de Glanville's incantation, combined with Elder's Triangle. Inverted, of course. They are your only possible recourse. But I cannot guarantee that even they will suffice. Thank you, Enzavel. Vafel. That does not conclude our conversation. What is it? The time of the white frost and white light is nigh. And the world will perish amidst ice. I know Ithleen's prophecy. I don't doubt you know it. But do you understand it? The Elder Blood can initiate the final age, the time of the end, or stop it. Remember this, Gwynblade, for you will be the one to determine if the seed bursts into flames.
What was that about? The migration? Good gods. Did they teach you no history here? No. Vesemir figured sword work could be more useful on the path. Gonna answer me? Naturally. One's never too old to learn. The Ense and the NN elves were once one folk, the N Undod. Then came a cataclysm. No one knows its nature. The N Undod were forced to leave their world. They split along the way. So if Uma's curse was uttered in this lathe and Undod. Then it's old. Very, very old. Any idea what she was talking about? Siri, of course. Wish everyone would just leave her the hell alone. Wouldn't count on it. All in all, interesting conversation. What now? All is ready. We should gather the others and begin. Listen, everyone. All is in place. We may begin. Lambert? Prepare the apparatuses. Esco, go. Last I heard, my dear, I give the orders around here, not you. I believe we made an agreement to seek to cure Uma my way. I said we would help you, that's it. I don't know what you want to do with them, you haven't deigned to inform us, but it's not safe, is it? Just as I thought. Which is why I think we should first try another, less invasive method. What's this method? Derives from folk traditions. I've used it many times. In 1211, to lift the curse that held the Swan of Povis, for instance. I'll take Uma into the mountains. What then? Will you howl at the moon together? A bit of respect. You're not talking to Geralt. No, we will not howl at the moon. I'll lay him down on a gravestone. Come midnight, I'll give him tea made of hemlock harvested from... But I don't see that I need to explain this to you. In my opinion... I know your opinion, but I'm not asking anyone's permission. I'm saying what will happen. I'll be back at dawn, with Uma, or whoever hides inside him. Vesemir's gotten a bit grumpy in his old age. That was nothing. Should have been here last winter when Lambert tried to convince him we ought to abandon Kaer Morin for good. What good's this old ruin anyway? Moldy walls, leaky roof, and it's one big fucking ice cube in the winter. Vesemir didn't say a word. Stood, grabbed his sword, and slammed the door on his way out. Didn't come back for a month. So, got the evening off. What do we do with it? Vesemir mentioned some roof beams in the tower need replacing. Maybe we could see to that. Or we could have a drink. Sounds a lot better than the beams. Wouldn't mind a shot myself. Or two. Nothing I can do. Been outvoted. Let's go. Do as you will. But in a moment, Geralt and I must talk. Ooh, sounds serious. Come on, Lambert. See you in a bit, Geralt. Something not quite right? No, nothing. I just wanted to take you aside, without cluing the others into what we're up to. Mm-hmm. And what are we up to? Sneaking upstairs to make love. Wow. You don't exactly mince words. I'm too old to play the blushing bride. Unless you ask nicely. Shall we go? You can rejoin them afterwards. In an hour. Or two. Yen, don't get mad, but... Stop. Suddenly I have an immense desire to drink. So, head sorceress box your ears again? You could say that. Uh, Yen, we don't have glasses. 
You alright drinking from a mug? I'd drink from an old boot tonight. <sighs> Perhaps instead of getting crocked in deep glum, we could do some catching up. What have you been up to, Lambert? On your way west last time I saw you. Uh, yeah. Contract in Lan Exeter. Not to boast, but a pretty lucrative one. Yeah. Kavir's where the gold's to be made. Know how much they pay there for a drowner? Shush, I'm talking now. So this giant was giving him trouble. Attacking convoys, dragging folk off into the swamps. And relieving himself on the highway, rendering it dreadfully slippery. You've built enough suspense. Get to the point. Fine. Turned out, it wasn't a giant. Just a fat forest troll. And a group of bandits were ambushing the convoys. What did you do? Killed the bandits to keep the road safe. Then I killed the troll. Needed its uh, head to collect the bounty. Could have spared the troll. <sighs> to eat roots and sleep in roadside ditches? I needed the coin. And not a soul mourned that troll's passing. Let's raise a mug to his memory. The least we can do. Eskel, that catacan we cut up together. Tell us how you nabbed him. A catacan? Oh ho ho. Dangerous horse sons, those. Finicky, too. The specimen in question only went for young women from the upper classes. That's like me. We've no interest in your fantasies, Lambert. Whereas the vampire, even I'm curious to know how you managed. My clan threw a masquerade ball for the city's notables to lure the vampire out of hiding. I was there too, disguised. Let me tell you, never had so much success with the ladies as I did that night. Mixing work and romance? Bad idea. Vampire could have caught you with your pants down. Suppose so. But you look the way I do, you gotta grab every chance you can get. <laughs> maybe you should wear a mask permanently. <laughs> and maybe you should wear a gag. What about the vampire? I'd made a deal with this young alchemist. She really loaded up. Fish tech, vodka, magic mushrooms. Went out into the garden. Vampire found her and drank his fill. Fight was an afterthought. Hmm. A fairy tale on gluttony for modern times. Alchemist come out of it all right? Fine. Lost a bit of blood, I suppose. Hangover was the worst part. She drank nothing but pickle juice for the next month. Eventful times for me recently. Kings, dragons, conspiracies. And then, I found Yen. Yeah, we're thrilled for you. But why don't you tell us about Uma instead? <sighs> Long story. I was on Ciri's trail. Went to Velen, Skellige, Novigrad, where Dandelion needed saving again. He get caught plowing somebody he shouldn't have been? Right. Speaking of old friends, Novigrad and Plowing, how's Triss? Fuck off, Lambert. Whoa, hit a sore spot, I guess. Lambert, not funny. Fine. Conversation turned serious. Let's talk. Yen, what do you plan to do with Uma? I said I'd tell you tomorrow. So tell us now. It's after midnight. I'll subject him to the trial of grasses, but only- You fucking what?! Mind your manners, Lambert. Did you hear what- Not gonna ask you again. Uh, sorry. Looking to turn him into a witcher? Of course not. As I was about to say, I'll only apply the first half of the trial, because- Because you want to watch him suffer? Stop interrupting, or I will watch you suffer. To restore Uma's former appearance, we must first... Hmm... How do I explain it? Imagine a lump of clay. In order to shape it, you must first moisten it or it will crumble. The trial's initial part does just that. It opens the body to change, so to speak. Only then can the mutagens produce a witcher. What are the chances Uma will survive? Not great. But we've no choice. Unless Vesemir can do the trick with his hemlock. Might be surprised. 
Old man knows his stuff. It'll be the first trial in years, decades. I knew you'd be wary. Wary? That's not the problem. Those secrets have been forgotten, and that's how they should stay. I'd be the last to suggest you start producing hordes of witches. You hardly need to. See, till now we had a great excuse not to take in apprentices. Seems we'll need to talk it over. Maybe later. Who's up for another round? Oh, I am. But we're all out of stuff to chew on. Geralt, mind raiding the kitchen? Not at all. Gentlemen, pleasure drinking with you. Lambert, especially. But the hour is late. Don't stay up long. Tomorrow's an important day. <laughs> Didn't listen, did he? They never do. What are you talking about? Sam Avila contract Esco got a while back. Good story. Finish it in a minute. First, some more fuel. Ooh, now that's a kick in the liver. What is it? The gauntlet. Equal parts spirit and white gull. What's that look about? Yen's gone to bed. Time for some serious drinking. Damn straight. Bottoms up. So, watch this about a Sama Villa? Snared this peasant in her dance. Instead of being happy, he escaped with his life. Yoko fell head over heels in love. Wanted me to trap her. Turned him down. So he tried it on his own with a fishing net. Bet you they're still dancing a mazurka in some fallow field. Great story. With a moral, too. Really? What's that? Stay away from dangerous women. Will you ever lay off Yen? Yeah, as soon as I trust her. You brave a fire for her. Whereas she plays you like a cheap fiddle. The way it's always been. Listen to you two goddamn relationship experts. Neither of you's been with a sorceress. For good reason. Fine. Leave pretty boy alone before he gets grumpy. Already has that pouty look on his face. He can't stand it. Drink up, girl. To you and Yen. Happily ever after. <laughs> Colder and up a nice giant's ass in here. Gentlemen, I shall return. Gotta say, I'm pretty warm. He's always been a wuss about the cold. Remember winter 15 years ago, when the snow stayed around until Bellatane? Mm-hmm. Lambert sat by the fire, wrapped in a blanket. Cussed copiously every time it started to snow. Hello, youngins. Got your own little carnival going, eh? Alcohol, my good men, is a witcher's worst enemy. Where did you dig up that bonnet? Vesemir's trunk. The height of fashion in 1112. Old man probably put it on when he went courting. Or in the jargon of the time, wooing the damsels. Men, a witcher's life is not all cards and liquor. It is toil. It is labor. No gurgling babes to wean for us. Nay, not for us. All right. One Vesemir is enough. Take that off before you get it dirty. And pour. Oh, I'll pour, Esco. I'll pour. To the brim. Because without vodka, you're as stiff as a bookkeeper in a body cat. Ah, 
All right, guys. Bedtime. Speak for yourself. Night's still young as I see it. <laughs> but we're not. And tomorrow's a big day. Fine. Drinking with my mirror image is just no fun. At least it wasn't last time. See? Even you can't stand yourself. Good night. See everyone's up and at him. Hmm. Take it you had a productive evening? Yes. We talked about Uma till late. So I guess you didn't get a chance to see to the beams in the tower. Uh, no. But we'll, uh, get to that, I promise. Right, Lambert? You can give the boys a rap on the knuckles later. Let's get to work. Guess your gravestone and hemlock method didn't work. Not entirely, but I did learn something. While you were out hunting fork tails and playing with a megascope, I examined Uma. Notice one thing. At moments of, what's the term, uh, relaxed consciousness, he behaves differently. While falling asleep, he'd pause awake for an instant. Something different about his movements, his gaze then, but only for a moment. So I induced a trance, hypnotized him, essentially. No effect at first, but as he dropped into deep lethargy, I heard something, a sigh or a moan, and it wasn't Uma's voice. All right, I just don't get how that helps us. Then keep silent. Thank you, Vesemir. And I apologize for what I said earlier. Have the boys told you what we plan to do? Yes, don't like it one bit. I suppose I have to trust you. Thought we got rid of that table ages ago. Uh, must be 50 years since I last saw Sad Albert. Couldn't bear to part with it. Thought we might find a use for it one day. You know how old people are. Sure. Every grandpa out there's got an attic full of torture devices. Right. So what now? We can begin. We need only brew the potions. Wait, why couldn't we- Do it earlier? Because the preparatory potions for the trial are strongly reactive. They must be administered immediately after they're brewed. Satisfied? Geralt, make the potions. Here are the formulae. Eskel, take a bottle of spirit.